Juliet's case is a very, very dispiriting one. But when I'm amongst you all, I feel quite, quite uplifted because we know from the honks on the street through to these people who've been standing outside the Ecuadorian embassy for since Julian was in the prison before everybody realized what a prison the Ecuadorian embassy had turned out to be for him. And given that Julian has now served over a decade in confinement for telling us the truth. And let me tell you what this truth is. Let me just remind everybody what this truth is. In the early 2000s, in the aftermath of 9-11 um, and in the aftermath of the, the illegal invasion of Iraq, we had a situation where a 14-year-old boy was illegally captured on the battlefield, taken and tortured for weeks his serious in while he was having serious weeping wounds he was made to walk up and down a corridor with a heavy weight this is a child this is a boy and this happened not just for that short period of time when he was captured it happened systematically for years while he was at guantanamo omar Khader, whose supporters stand here today and i'm trying to there she is. Fantastic. Is now free. Omar Khadr is now free. And he is free because of the work of lawyers who stood by him even though the Canadian government abandoned him. He's a Canadian citizen. He is free because people like you and me stood on the streets, stood in court, stood outside, spoke to our politicians, wrote to our MPs and said, this is unacceptable, he is a child. And no matter what crimes he has committed, no matter what crimes he has committed, this is not the way we treat a child if we are civilized. And actually, as it, came, as it became visible through Omar Khadr's trial, he had been captured illegally. It was a war crime in terms of the way he was treated during his capture and subsequently. It was a war crime, the way, the continuing war crime that is Guantanamo, where people are not given due process, where you have a military commission which decides on the future of men. 789 Muslim men have systematically been tortured at Guantanamo. And that is illegal and wrong. And we as civilized nations shouldn't allow for it to continue 20 years on today. And I'm so glad for people like Andy Worthington and others who've chosen to expose this. And behind all the truth of Guantanamo, of Iraq, of Afghanistan, the person who really, the person who really showed how black lives matter, that black lives matter, is Julian Assange. Black Lives Matter doesn't come from taking the knee alone. Black Lives Matter comes from respecting the living and the dead in these countries which we have exploited and destroyed for our own ends. Colonials. We need to stop invading and bombing other countries. Yeah, yeah. We need to stop creating regime change plans in other countries. We need to look after the poor the vulnerable in our own country and it is and it's really important that we recognize that it is through the freedom of Julian and others that we are free and it is through the the capture and incarceration and brutality towards Julian that we are imprisoned Julian is sitting in Belmarsh Throughout this process, he has not been through a jury trial. The prosecuting state has, ha, it is evident now, through publicly confirmed information from US government insiders, 30 US government insiders have confirmed that the prosecuting state planned to kill him. We know that the main witness against him, Sigurd Ringi Thordason, 
lied about his testimony. We also know, and this is not news to any of you, that Julian's privileged legal conversations were recorded and transmitted to the US. And in all of this, I am ashamed to say that lawyers in this country, journalists in this country, um, sorry. lawyers in this country and journalists in this country do not seem to see the serious problems with the legal process. We cannot have the rule of law in this country for ordinary people if in plain sight a journalist and publisher is being tortured and slowly murdered, which is what is happening to Julian Assange in Belmarsh. Throughout this process, Julian has been treated with very little dignity and respect. In court, he had to go down on his hands and knees and speak through a small gap in the perspex in order for his voice to be heard over the heads of the FBI agents who were sitting in court. He was denied even open justice, one of the basic principles of justice, when the public gallery, which seats 46 people in each gallery, was only allowed two people each morning and five people through the day, three of which seats were reserved for VIPs. VIPs, we now found out, find out, who never attended the hearings and who were from the Australian consulate. So I urge those of you who are Australian citizens to ask your MPs, to ask those who are standing for election what they are going to do about the case of an Australian citizen who is locked up for telling the truth. None of what Julian and WikiLeaks have released has ever been contested. It ha Julian has a, and WikiLeaks have a 100% record of accuracy. And it is this accuracy that allows us to this day to understand what's happening in Ukraine, what's happening in terms of the NATO forces and what Russia expected and what assurances were given, what's happening in terms of people like Khaled El Masri, who was uh, a German citizen, rendited, tortured, sodomized, and then left to, to believe that what his story was, uh, was was a complete untruth. That's what all the government said until we got to the European Court of Human Rights and with the help of WikiLeaks cables came to know the truth. So I'm here in solidarity with you all. Thank you. I'm, I'm here in solidarity with the British public who do not want for a journalist to be stitched up in our name, who do not want for deaths and destruction in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Libya, in Yemen, elsewhere, to be carried out in our name, who do not want the corruption in Kenya in our name, who do not want for traffickers dumps of toxic waste on the Ivory Coast to be hidden in our name. And the only way we can we can allow for this to be known is for WikiLeaks to be supported and for Julian to be free. And it's also important to remember that there has been a huge human cost to all this. I see a few of Julian's friends, personal Thank friends, you. standing here, some of whom have supported him right from the start. You know who you are. One of whom is the creator of this amazing graphic, uh, Somerset Bean, whose graphics animate all our protests and the human cost to him, to others, including Julian's family and his young children, one of whom has never seen Julian outside of Belmarsh prison, who is going to bed every night without the hugs and cuddles of his dad, are the reason why we stand here today and say Julian Assange must be free. Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange!